What's up guys, I'm BTC. Over on the PTR, there's been a lot of changes, and one of them was a bug fix for Moira, which is effectively a massive nerf to the character. There was a lot of confusion about what exactly is going on with this, and I really want to get Blizzard's attention to hopefully have this fixed before it gets pushed to the live. First up, quick thank you to some of my Patreon supporters for helping me to test this video. Let's start by looking at the change right out of the patch notes. It says, fixed a bug that allowed Moira's Biotic Grasp to heal targets behind an enemy barrier. Now, preventing healing through an enemy barrier is nothing new. Lucio, Brigitte's Inspire passive, and Ana's main healing cannot go through any barrier, so it's nothing new. However, Moira has been able to heal through barriers since the character was released, and I think suddenly removing that is kind of problematic. Additionally, Moira needs to be up close in order to heal, unlike Ana, but she also lacks the durability of Brigida or the speed of Lucio. So I think not being able to heal through the barrier is kind of like a double hit to Moira. But let's say for the sake of argument that Blizzard is 100% adamant that Moira will not be able to heal through barriers. There's still another really big problem that needs to be addressed. So let me show you what I'm talking about. With Ana, she can heal a target behind a barrier if she can see even the tiniest, tiniest sliver of that player peeking out from behind the barrier, Ana can still heal him. With Brigida's Inspire passive and Lucio's healing, it's a little bit more restrictive. You have to be able to see line of sight to the center of the target that you're trying to heal. So if you can see some of the player, but not that center point, then the heal is not going to register. But as soon as you move a little bit over to the side and you can now see the center, then those heals are start to register. And this is where Moira's problem comes in. It's not that she simply can't heal through the barrier. It's that because Moira's primary healing functions in kind of a cone effect, keep in mind it's difficult to show with an overlay, so this is kind of my best guess since I don't have access to Blizzard's information. If even the tiniest, tiniest, smallest part of that cone is touching the barrier, then the entire rest of the heal is completely cancelled out. And the closer you're standing to a barrier, the worse this blocking effect gets. So as you can see right here, I'm looking directly at Soldier. I have perfect line of sight to the entire character, and yet this heal is not registering. And the funny thing is, I actually have to turn to the left so that the cone effect is no longer touching the barrier, but the edge most part of the cone is actually still on Soldier, so that's it's how it's going to heal. So what's going to end up happening is if you are anywhere even remotely close to a barrier, then most of your heals are not going to register. And I want to emphasize here, it's not that you're just not healing through the barrier, it's that even the tiniest amount of the barrier can completely block your entire heal. And that is a pretty big problem. It's just an incredibly unintuitive playing experience trying to heal anywhere near these barriers now. So I hope this video finds its way to the Blizzard devs so they're able to actually address this issue. My solution would be to simply revert Moira back to the way she was. I don't think it's an issue that she can heal through barriers. Now, I was going to post this on their forums, but I really think the visual representation of what's going on is a lot easier to understand. Also, I can't post video links on the Overwatch forums for some reason, so it wouldn't have really helped too much there. But there you have it, guys. I hope this explains it a lot better. It's not that you just can't heal through the barrier. It's that the barrier is just completely blocking heals that should be landing. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. The links for that stuff are down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.